Max Wally, let's do it. Let's do it. How do you do that on mobile? Do what? Okay, so there's no outbreak. Thank the Lord. My outbreak haters, we live another day, boys. We live another day. Let's go, W. Uh, so D Machine's no, up first. Yeah, this, as far as right now. The world like, record for this map is like 25 minutes, man. You can't even launch the game It's offline. just so easy. Chat. Connected to the server. One in chat if you guys have done every single Cold War Easter egg. Or it'll take Excluding Outbreak. I feel like a lot of you guys after the next have done it. Like, this is the space. easiest zombies mode of all time, man. Like, it is just insane. I feel like nobody has ever not done any Easter egg because it's so bad. I had somebody Let's tweet at me the other day that they just beat GK. Like, yesterday. And so that's wild to me when literally somebody's beaten this entire freaking game in an hour 20. That is mind-blowing, bro. Can't get booted off. Yeah, that's a bonus for sure. It's also interesting because I've realized that Rampage Inducer is not allowed on Easter Egg speedruns. You don't ever see people run it. Um, and so that's why they still have to go up to the top of Noxtra and do this. It better be a fucking double. Yeah. So it's so interesting how that goes. I've never done Shadows full EE. Chat, put in the chat what EEs you have not done yet. Wow, he got super lucky on the double points. Sheesh. He literally called it too. He's like, if you drop me anything, the give game. me the double. Oh, and you get double the money from proning at a perk? I did not even realize that. That's insane. With spawns. That is insane. You got a great double here. Going through it. Yeah, a lot of World War II. A lot of BO4. That's really yep. bad, but I want it. And a nuke double points. Bro, he hit that perfectly. You so probably okay. pop his ether here. No, he's not going to pop it. Beautiful, leaving early too. Yeah, no, he did it. He did this perfectly. The early game for D Machine here has done absolutely phenomenally. Wow. No nuke for nuke room though. I mean, bro, you hit the best early game possible. You do be trying to take out the zombies though, bro. Just hit that power switch, my G. Hit that ether shroud. He's saving it though. Oh, he's going back for the so points. To have fun on this game. <laughs> bro, I'll say it. The Hell's Retriever needs to be an item you spawn in with where you can throw it at drops. I don't even think it would be that overpowered. The Hell's Retriever is not overpowered. The base version, not the Redeemer, the Retriever. That would be because one of the best the equipments to bonus, just spawn in with. The that would be so cool. Sooner than the nuke last on the last guy, on both on double. Oh my god! I mean, he, it would have been insane, but I don't think he gets a double back to back double points. This is not Black Ops Three, my G. This is Bo Cold War. That's an insta kill. Doesn't really need it though, because I mean everything's insta kill on round five with the Gallo and the Bowie knife. Sheesh, oh, yeah, man. If we get a Zombies Chronicles, who will have Cold War mechanics. On the BL3 Customs version, no, it'll be BL3 mechanics. But if it's ever officially done, I think it would be Cold War mechanics at this point. Bro, that Ether Shroud skip is absolutely insane where you go through Nocturne Toten. I've seen that before, but like just seeing it in practice again is just so beauty. Picks up the pat part, putting it in the machine. And then now it's all just round management and then going back into the Dark Aether portal at the exact right times, pretty much. Yeah, just get a ray gun. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, if you got the ray gun, that Let would be do insane. That real quick, Ronald. Bro, yeah, you can get the ray gun from the crystals. It's super rare. If somebody ever does that in a world record run, that would be the most unbeatable run of all time. I call patched RNG on that, bro. That's... The chances of that happening is probably like 0.01%, bro. It's probably so little. I can't even imagine. No fucking way. Are you kidding me? He fucking respawned. He was beside me. Yep. Cold War zombie spawns be like, I'm going to respawn. He's not last. <laughs> Cold War zombie spawns be like, I'm going to respawn 20 seconds literally behind you, bro. Respawn. Is this counting Dead Ops oh, 3? No, dude, this is not counting Dead Ops 3. This is not counting Outbreak. This is only D Machine, Firebase, Z, Mauer, and Forsaken. And respawned. So, even then, though, that's insane. Hits the Ether Scope part right off the hop. He could go up and get that um, that spawn part, but I think he might have his next part at plane. I don't know. Yes, 
Chat, have you guys ever There's gotten the ray gun out now. of the out of the crystal? Oh, now you guys come. I don't think I've ever done it once. I've n I've only ever had the jump scare out of the mystery box also once. I've never actually had it once. There you go. Get stamina up as your first perk. You know you're a speedrunner one. Grab the fire part. Grab the ether scope part. Lovely, lovely RNG here. Absolutely killing it so far. Yeah, the plague hounds, you're really just taking out for the points plus the ether shroud. It's so cool. I the one thing I love about Cold War speedruns is swapping your specialist ability. I think that is such a unique aspect for uh for COD zombies. Lovely. Yeah, I know. It just makes the speedrun really interesting. Because you, you'll see him swap to Ring of Fire before the boss fight. Um, and I just love it. Outbreak is so boring. It's fine. Yeah, no. I think if it, this included the Outbreak, um, Easter Egg, it would just be too slow. It would be too, too slow. He's got the Megaton, but he's going to go and put the um, part in. Oh, no, no. He's going to get the Plague Hound Elam first here. For the gas, which is really smart. There he is. The man He's, of the hour. Yeah, he is going to take out this Megaton, though. Because he needs to get the uh, the card for the die. Nobody gets the die out of the box on Cold War. I'm going to be honest. Listen, as much as they advertise for the Cold War box to be good, it sucks. One in the chat, if you agree. I almost never hit the box in Cold War. Because of the rarity system. You can just get, like, a green, like, RPD, like, on the wall right there in the box at like round 30 it's honestly such a bad system like i think rarity should not be something that is variable in the box it should be something that changes per round so like so maybe like past this. round 10 you get green round 15 it's blue round 20 it's purple round 25 it's orange or something i don't want to scope my pistol for real and then in the armory, you can, like, swap all the attachments. Bro, he grabbed the diary through the wall there. I'm not seeing that. What the heck? I only say so incredibly slow because I compare myself against WR every time I play this fucking map. That's WR insane. Like, I was, like, plus 50 just now on WR. Bruh, it doesn't even matter, though. On a super egg run, you really need to just make sure you're consistent all the WR way through. Is. I mean, the WR like, and D machine is ridiculous, bro. Gold high levels only, man. Well, because it's like, bro, the chances of you getting a ray gun, like, in round two is impossible on Cold War. Because that's how the box is. But, like, the chances of you getting a ray gun on round two in, like, Keen Order Toten, for example, are very high. I just, I don't like the way the system is divided in the box. You just never want to really do it okay. he's doing the die while in dark ether that's really impressive to be well, honest Rucker has the perfect rng except for the fact that mike didn't get perfect boss because he fucked up yeah I'm nervous go. i'm also I'm, I'm assuming he's gonna run poison die for the Sounds. boss the poison die has become so incredibly powerful uh he's got malik there w he's gonna shoot the um the thing Bro's gonna do this while he's right next to so that is devious. Wow, how Bro did he not go for him? Bro is trying to help me win. Yeah, what the first. heck? And now he's gonna get the ice speaker done instantly. Wow, that was a perfect ice speaker. Wow. He was charging it up right when he was there with the beaker placed. I also prefer building a shield. I don't know, me too. Like I know a lot of people don't like the shield. I like when the shield's included into the run. I think armor is just kind of a cop out, to be honest, man. Then he hits the computer, and now he can do all the rest of the die upgrades. Um, just crazy, man. Needed to die. Is Bro not doing outbreak? Nope. No outbreak. No dead ops. I would love to see if somebody spe speed run to all the dead ops modes. I don't even know if anybody's done all three consecutively. That would probably be like a four or five hour speed run, if anything. Because beating dead ops is crazy. Yeah, he's got the can literally fully ready. He's got the flame part fully ready too. This is a really good run. I may be slower than WR, but it's phenomenal still. Everything in the box is gold after a certain round. I Yeah, it is. But it's just like... It takes so long to get there, in my opinion. I don't know. I, I think, like, don't don't get me wrong. I don't think the rarity system is bad. I, th I just think it needs to be refined. 
I just don't like that you can get the same weapon in a different rarity on, like, round four. And, like, I don't know. It just adds more useless things into the box. That's the biggest problem with Cold War. You just add all these useless things in the box. And it's just, like, very, very dumb. Just remember that Outbreak has two eggs. Yep. And you know Treyarch's going to add two eggs into COD 2024 Outbreak. You know you know trap one i mean listen we know outbreak's coming back next year how many easter eggs is outbreak gonna get in 2024 i'm guessing it's gonna get three i'll say it i guarantee you that mode is gonna get three whole easter eggs in this game it had two cod 2024 it's gonna have three hundred ten percent hundred ten percent it's funny because also i just don't see anybody speed running the outbreak eggs ever I don't think I've seen anybody ever on stream speed run the outbreak eggs. Most people that play outbreak are just casuals. I feel like at this point. Oh, I think that was too low. Nah, he hit it. He hit it. The poison, um, the poison die has an interesting arc as well. He's hitting these really perfectly. So he's hitting all the prongs for all the he's upgrades. Dead. He's upgrading the lightning die while in the dark ether here. Absolutely perfectly. Yeah, you can hit this one in the weirdest spot next to stamina up here. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Does it work? I would say it depends on MW3 zombies. Love this game. Yeah. I'm almost certain MW3 zombies will not have eggs. I think they're going to be more similar to DMZ raids. That, that mode is not zombies. It's DMZ. So I just expect anything that's like more DMZ centric to be a thing. Dude, this is crazy though. He's got all dies sub 12 minutes. Yeah, he's done the lightning now. And he's going to finish off with ice. He just needs Megaton next round. Bro, the ice die is so bad. What a terrible version of the die, man. It's so bad. Now he's got to do the dark ether wrench part. And needs to end the round. Get a Megaton here. Only good thing about Outbreak is the first EE and the boss is quite cool. Yeah, no, listen. I love the Legion boss fight in Outbreak. I didn't like the how we got there, but I thought the Legion boss fight in Outbreak was actually, like, really cool. It was probably the best boss fight in Cold War, which is kind of sad because it's not even, like, a round-based map. So, uh, it, it is very interesting how that is. He's grabbing the Lightning Die also to run fast while the dialogue's happening really pristine skips that have happened all throughout the years on this easter egg man it's so so interesting to watch I have everything i need so remember the bunker super sprinters before the patch bro i still think like the super sprinters are not as bad as they are on bo4 in this game but they're still bad i will never be a fan of super sprinters i love that cold war added the option to turn them on and off with the no rampage inducer way. But, yeah, no he did get the round 10 megaton. Wow. Fuck off. That's crazy. Yeah, he's ready to go. Please. Got Please. his dark ether Fuck. wrench. He's now running fast AF with the lightning die. Dude, if I split him there, that might have been the strat. But... He could have split him there. That's true. Now he's got to just spam the dark ether wrench. Take out the guy. Interesting. You can do it with stun grenades. I did not actually know that. Bro, he was he went through Nocturne Toten. That was crazy. What a strat there with the Dark Ether. And then you can use it twice on this de decontamination Please agent. That is insane. Why do you move so fast with Lightning Die? We do we do not know. So and here he is. He now swaps the ring because yeah, now is the time where he's he needs to uh, get it done here. Downstairs. He shot. How did he shoot? You can't see me. Yeah. So he he literally just needs to split the megaton now. No way, he sprinted. No way. Crazy. Nice. Yeah, he just needs to not pick up that nuke. Uh, but he could pick it up once yep. they're both sucked in. Right in. Yep, there you go. So yeah, and the coolest part of this is that I included this in my skip. You can literally run through the the, uh, the computer area and get out of the cutscene. The fact that Treyarch didn't even realize you could do that is kind of weird. I guess they didn't code that in when they added stamina up tier 5. So it's just kind of interesting how that is. So he's got the upgraded uh, I have to lightning remember, die. I remember how to do build on FBZ because I don't remember how. Yeah, and he is going to get the he's going to get the poison die 100% here. 
I don't think he keeps lightning. Yeah, you keep the death machine. That's part of the strat. This guy have a YouTuber stream. Yeah, here it is. My man is Valley172. So check him out. I'm going to sub him like that. Absolute play. legend. Seriously, 15 minute D machine egg run is absolutely insane, bro. I don't like how in this game, if you're trapped, you just pull out a chopper gunner. Yeah, I mean, how else could they have added it in, though? Unless there's like an area, a designated area only where you can use the choppers. I feel like that might have been the best thing. But the thing is, though, is that like people would have abused the heck out of that. There would have definitely been some like infinite chopper gunner glitch or something about that, you know? It's true. And so now he's literally boss fight ready. He's ready to go and boss. Sub 16 minutes. Absolutely disgusting. And he's going to go and get the poison die, if, if what I'm assuming is correct. Or is he going to stick with lightning? He might stick with lightning. I have seen WR holders run poison die. Um, he does have ring here, though, which is nice. Wow, I think he's actually going to stick with lightning. No, no, he's going for poison. No! He don't need jug either. Jug is actually not necessary. Is he going to get poison? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, bro, no way you're not going to get poison. It is so good on this map with Ring of Fire. It's literally just insane, man. Literally, you can instantly beat the first whole wave of Orlov here just by popping Ring. And he does get Ring of Fire, or sorry, Juggernaut, just to make it a little bit easier. What are the ghost animals for on this map? Decoration. Pretty much it at that point. Come this way. Please make it here. I found my zombie phase literally when BL3 came out. I completely missed out. Got to enjoy World of War to BL2 though. Yeah, it, coming from BL2 to Cold War must be an interesting jump because this game is much more similar to BL3 and, and, and BL4 than it is to BL1 Ooh. and BL2. Even though this game was taking place in, like with a lot of the BL1 campaign characters... I feel like it's mechanical wise, it's much more similar to BO3 and BO4. Uh, and it's it's interesting. They should add back difficulty from BO4. I don't think they should add back difficulty. I think what they should add is like classic gameplay and then like Cold War mechanics where you can like switch between like BO3 and Cold War. That would be really interesting, in my opinion. So now he's just waiting for Orlov dialogue to finish. And literally, he's got his Ring of Fire set up. And then literally, you just use the Death Machine on the second phase. Then you get your Ring of Fire back for third phase. And you absolutely just delete it, bro. You just go through this so unbelievably fast. I remember when the world record for D-Machine was like 30 minutes. And it's literally down a whole 10 minutes, which is absolutely insane. Considering that this map is just so dumb easy. So, yeah. Now he's going to be able to do it. Orlov do be speaking though. It's weird that BO4 added a, like an option to skip cutscenes like an Ancient Evil. But they didn't add it back in Cold War. I don't get that, to be quite honest. It's such an interesting little thing, you know. Orlov be yapping, bro. What is Brother babbling about, bro? He do be on the sesh of babbles. Madeline better be a stable of zombies going forward. I mean, listen, you saw the MW3, uh, not the zombies gameplay, but the multiplayer gameplay. That mantling is going to be in Outbreak and DMZ or whatever the new MW3 mode is, no matter what. And so here you can see the Ring of Fire pop here. Oh, nice try. He did get that zombie just in time so it doesn't hit Orlov, which is huge. And yeah, so Ring of Fire is down, and this is where he's pulling out the Death Machine. Big decoy as well to let Orlov through. Yep. Yep. Huge decoy because the death machine all it's he here for is just to charge your ring of fire back up That's literally it. Yeah, he's got some molotovs there. He's got another decoy. You really have to be Exact with your death machine shots here. This is no bl3 death machine hold down the trigger infinite ammo You have to be perfect with it. So you get your ring fire back You hate mantling and zombies takes no skill now with maneuvering zombies. I think it just depends on the map flow I do agree, though, that yes, mantling can make the game much easier because you can just jump out of some crazy situation. Interesting poison die spot. Dude, he did that so perfectly. And yeah, he's hitting that ring of fire very lovely, too, because he also has to take out Malik here. He got that boy out. Sheesh. 
This is what I'm saying. The poison die with Ring of Fire got a massive buff once you were able to upgrade the die. And because before this was not used in the shrap. How'd you get through? Yeah, how did that boy get through the ring, bro? That's very interesting. He's got a lot of ammo spots here, but literally I just get screwed on this part. So he's literally no he's literally good. Yeah, the only thing you have to make sure is that nothing hits Orlov here. Once you do this, you're done. Now he's gonna go and get the lightning die, so he can run faster out of this step, and that's D machine done probably. In like two minutes, bro. He's even upgraded it to his second upgrade here. Insane, man. Insane. Yeah, and I agree. I think Mantle is not the problem. I think it's more the maps. Because, yeah, I agree. This area in D-Machine makes Mantling the go-to mechanic. Because you can absolutely just speed through all of it, bro. It's insane how fast you can just get through it. Without those movement mechanics where there aren't barriers on rails, it would make D-Machine much harder. I agree. No, I agree. If it was like a BO3 map, I agree. It'd be way more difficult for sure. Made it. Does not have quick revive though, so just make sure you don't down. But he's got his death machine here. Couple bullets left. Nice. That was a really solid D machine run. Not much I could have seen to fix there. That was really, really good. Honestly, I he was saying that his start was a little bit slower. But he honestly, he honestly did incredible. He honestly did amazing. And there it is. 21-23. Sheesh. That was incredible. Okay. Let's skip to Firebase Z Valley. Let's see it. My Firebase Z enjoyers, where are you? Let's go, baby. Here we are. Firebase Z in the building. He's running the M16 here. Interesting choice. So I did not make a guide for Firebase Z, and so this is going to be interesting to see for me to see how the speed runs done here. M16 does make sense. The spawn room here is so fast. The Firebase for a whole, for the, like a, entirely there for a second. Jesus, bro, he literally just yeah, went through confused. on round two. This is crazy, bro. Is he going to use the trials to get the Ray K, or is he going to actually use? One, two, I don't know. Yeah, bro. Also, the spawns here are crazy. Look at this spawn manipulation, bro. What? Yeah, this M16 strat is the play, bro. This is interesting. Wow. Bro went through that so quick. What the heck? He's got to do the trial machine for Ray K's here. A big timer. Unless he's actually going to do the free Ray K. This is crazy. I don't know how to add a map timer. I'm genuinely so impressed with this strat. I've never seen spawn manip manipulation like this. He literally has like the first six spawns behind him and then the window barrier and then the, the area where they come out through like uh, the tombstone side there. Wow. I feel like he needs a larger, a longer scope. Like something that helps him zoom in more, but apparently not. He's, he's just zooming yeah, I don't through know it. How fast they have. It's going to be weird looking at Mike. Yeah, it's true. He doesn't have his individual time up for the map, but he's got his total time. But the fact that he's done this in under two minutes, though, is crazy. And again, Rampage Inducer is apparently not allowed not for slow. these Easter eggs. Which I think is interesting. Like, chat, why ban the Rampage Inducer? I feel like the Rampage Inducer would make these eggs way more easy to complete and way faster. I think that's an interesting thing. Because none of these speedrunners use the Rampage Reducer. I literally was like... Very fascinating, happen. man. I hope it, it probably won't. It never does. And uh, it happened. So My boy's filling up the Firebase Z. Lads, okay, speedrun. when was the last time you played Firebase? This is my least played Cold War map. I'm going to be real with y'all. I, I do not... I do not play Cold War. Ooh. He did not also fill up the generator fully. So yeah, he's wasting a little bit of time for the round intermission. Which I have exactly not played this. Too, so like, they should have a category for Rampage Deucer really? always on and one for off. I agree. Like, I would love oh. to see these eggs on Rampage Deucer. It would be so different. It'd be so much more fast paced. This round. I thought for sure that would have happened yeah, once Rampage happened. But I guess not. Yeah, I have not played Firebase easily in a year. This is my least played Crazy, Cold War map, without a doubt. Fun, having so much fun. Yeah. Definitely having a blast.
fast. I think it's also just because, like, this map out of the four Cold War maps has the slowest startup, and I think everybody can feel that. Like, yeah, no other map has a startup like this where you have to, like, take out the zombies at the generators and all that. It's a slower startup, man. It's very, very interesting. BO4 much longer, though? Yeah. I mean, absolutely. Cold War is the slow, or the easiest and fastest COD Zombies game there is. Period. Like, this is my first Cold War map. Did not like it. Yeah. I think they just tried incorporating too many things from too many other maps. Too many boss zombies as well. The map layout's not bad. I just think it's just like there's something missing. Man, fuck you know? this game, dude. Of course that would happen. Something missing with this map. Also, I, I was not a fan of the Order Waves too. Mimics are now. I agree. I think Mimics are one of the worst boss zombies in recent years. They wouldn't be if they didn't just get spammed as much. I think the idea is really cool, like a, a zombie hidden in an item. I just think that, like, the rate at which they spawn in this map just literally ruins the map for me. Yes, these guys are over here. Yep. Oh, it's just... I forgot if you do the super right, easter egg, you start right. with a purple rarity yeah, weapon. Yeah, that. that's true. And it literally... It's weird that the super easter egg's allowed for easter egg speedruns, but not rampage inducer. Like, who makes that call, right? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, there goes my 30 seconds. You know? Woohoo, guys. Yeah, it must suck, like, having a bad having run blast, on, like, your second or third map here. Because he's on Firebase now, and so... He's he do just be losing it here, bro. It's so cool how Ether Shroud goes through buildings like that. Four and a half minutes. I literally love that, bro. Four thirty. It was also really cool how you could literally mantle towards the top of the portal on on Firebase Z without opening any doors. It's about a five minute. Did they patch that chat? Okay. I think they did. You can't mantle parkour to the top of the portal now without buying the door. I think. That used to be a thing, but they passed it. Bruh, I wish they didn't. That was one of the coolest things about Firebase Z. And then they got rid of it. Oh, good. I got some time saved. That's great. Interesting that maybe that just there's... For sure. Let me guess. Equipment kills. Okay, so he is doing trials. Oh, my gosh. This is a whole other RNG aspect to this. Because you can get... You can do the legendary challenge, right? But, like... The thing is, is that you might not get the Ray K guaranteed every time with the trial. So that might instantly just destroy your run. How wonderful. That's what makes it awful, bro. Yeah, so now he needs the key card from Ravinov. Honestly, I have... Lads, how many times have you done the Firebase Egg? I think maybe I've done it four times. Maybe. Four or five. I have definitely not done this egg more than double digits. No way. I have not done it more than double digits for sure. I think also people don't like playing this map a lot because of the mimic step for the egg, especially speedrunners. Like, man, that step is horrid. Horrid, horrid step. He's got his armor there. Lovely. I think it's kind of going to be interesting because look at his time splits. The map that takes the longest is literally Firebase Z. And it's not even because of the boss fight or anything. It's all because of the fact of the, probably the mimic step. So now he's got to get the uh, three little canisters around the map with the key card. Firebase Z just seems like a boring map. I think this map could have really benefited from like a makeover. I think the problem with this map is that it visually just doesn't really stand out. I don't know. Do you guys agree, chat? Like, to me, this just looks like your generic Black Ops 1 campaign mission. You know? It doesn't, like, stand out to me. You know, like, how, like, Zetsubo stands out? All the BL3 maps stand out. All the BL4 maps stand out. Even Classified stands out over this. And Classified is a literal campaign mission. You know? I, I think if this map just had better visuals... Like... Here's the thing I think I dislike about Firebase Z. Like, this was supposed to be the Vietnam Zombies map, right? Do you guys get the feel of Vietnam when you watch this? Other than when you're, like, in the, um, the Orta Wave areas, I don't get that feeling of Vietnam. Like, when I think of Vietnam, I'm thinking of, like, those, like, grassy valley hills. Those, like, 
Like very like Asian looking mountains where they're like super pointy, you know? Like I I'm thinking of like almost like a mythical fantastical look. Like this to me looks too realistic. And I guess that's what they were trying to go for, but it's just, I don't know, it ain't really that it. Wait a second, he's going for the eye. He doesn't have to go for the eye here, does he? I'm pretty sure he doesn't have to do this. Thank you, use for the Prime. Appreciate you. I'm almost certain he doesn't have to do this. I think he's, yeah, he's not getting the Trial Wonder weapon because his first challenge was Kaka. So he's actually getting the free Ray K. Which is insane. Fine. I think most of the speedruns I've seen of this map, they usually get the wonder weapon out of the trial. But I mean, yeah, for a super easter egg round, why even risk it? You know? It feels like a multiplayer map. I agree. This map feels like a multiplayer map, and Forsaken feels like a campaign map because it literally is the fourth campaign mission in this game. Every day, Vanny. And I know people are always like, well, World at War had campaign maps. A lot of other games Actually, had campaign maps, but they literally made those maps look like they were for zombies. Oh, I thought that was this just looks blood like blood I'm playing a campaign mission, you know? Okay, so he's now, is he on the mimic up already? No, I don't think he, so I don't think he's actually there yet. He's yeah, close though. To ruin my game any more than it has been yeah, he's now, he's now going to be on the mimic step soon, so... But, I mean, look, his his world record time slit is 47 minutes. So, I mean, that's pretty decent. I'm not, I am not surprised. The world record run uses the challenges. Yeah, but for this run, for the total super Easter egg run, he's going to use the actual free Reiki. I saw a couple videos on how to do the free Reiki a lot easier. You just, you don't need to know how to do, use a dartboard. You just need to know, like, the slices of a pie, essentially on where it lands so we'll see we'll see when he does it spawn first yeah so he's gonna do it right now no i think he's just placing it at the computer or getting the part first i do i do if this map didn't have the ray k it would be really bad i agree i just wish this the ray k didn't get a nerf i don't think the ray k ever even Thanks needed a nerf it, spawned first. it was not even that overpowered Contestant number jack contestant I, jackass. I think I think the ray gun is also more powerful than the ray K now, in my opinion. And yeah, I don't know. I this is not the changes they made on this map does not make sense. How fun this map is. Bro, look at that. He's doing the mimic step with the bowies. That's impressive. Wow, that was the fastest mimic step I've ever seen. He went right to spawn and did that one. Sheesh. Yeah, and he's using Ether Shroud here to run back through. Wow. That was really impressive. So there's the first one. Next one's coming up too. It's motor pool next when I'm going to take the jump pad, but it's actually not motor pool next because I didn't take the jump pad. Wow. Let's go. Noah's God has Mimic Step wrong. Had me struggling. Yep. Honestly, maybe I should make the uh, Firebase Z Easter Egg tutorial. Because uh, the only ones I made were for D-Machine and Mauer. I should make Firebase Z and Forsaken. Considering that, yeah, a lot of people struggle with this Mimic step. I should show people, like, how to do it correctly. Because it's honestly not that difficult once you know the areas and where to look for. Right? Once you know where to look for and where to go, it's not that bad, but it's still pretty rough. Just devs thinking they need to change to improve the map. I agree, man. Only listen to the no nonsense man. Yep, the legend. Okay, I may as well get my code now. Yeah, so here, this is what I was saying about the slices of the pie. So it's like that's like two, two right from bottom. Two right from bottom. Yeah, that's the way that people do it now. They don't say what like what number it is on the dartboard. They just say two right from bottom, pretty much. Is he still gonna get this? I don't even know where that last one was. Top. Two right from I bottom. Figure out what my second one is. Bro, he didn't even see it. Oh my gosh. He's going to watch again. Oh my gosh. Too bad he didn't have Ether Shroud like a second earlier. He would have been able to do that perfectly. Dang, too bad. Two right, two left, top. Okay, so it's two right, two left, top. That's, That's interesting. Code. Yep. That is not a bad code. And then here he gets his Mimic too. Honestly, this is the best way to do the Mimic step. Get the Mimic to spawn and just Bowie knife him on a low round. Two right, two left, top. That is such an easy way to do it. Easy money. Yeah, and so now he's going to run up, bring it over to the, the machine. 
Get that all done. Bro is just throwing them on the wall. Scanning for target. Two right, two left, top. Yeah, and so he's going to grab the key card. And then go and get the Reiki from the spawn room area. When's the first Mega? That's a great question. I don't think it's until like... Chat, somebody quote me on this. Is 15? 13? I don't think... Or, like, I don't remember you getting it to, like, 15 plus. Like, it's, maybe it's even 18 or something. Because I know you don't get caught. You don't get Manglers until, like, 20. From here, I wouldn't have gotten one. So, he's Barely. got the key card now. He's got a shovel, too. Bro, that was a nasty Ether Shroud. Just through the whole building. That is so crazy. Yeah, he put it in the machine. Yeah, now he's going to open up this area and activate the panel. Honestly, a lot of Firebase Z's Easter egg is just click random machine. Click button on this random machine. I think that's why I dislike this Easter egg. It's not really like a coherent egg. It's just click button. Click button. Click button. The other steps outside of click button are pretty alright, I would say, other than Mimic. But that was one of the fastest Mimic steps I've ever seen. That was really impressive. Yeah, and I would say Manglers aren't really a thing until about round 15. Interesting also that this is not a Gallo map. And I get it, man. This is a long-range map for sure. Okay, here's my plan. I'm curious if he's going to run the Gallo here. Oh, and Mauder Toten too. He's got his Dr. Peck dialogue through the roof. That's absolutely disgusting. Now he's going back to spawn. He's going to grab Reike. I missed round 100s, bro. Carry 2021 for real, man. For real. I miss I miss new round 100s too, man. He's grabbing the Magnum too to do it, yeah, because you can't shoot more than three times with the uh, the M16. He did it first try though. Lovely. He got the part, and now he's gonna be able to build the Ray K. Absolutely legend, man. I'm curious if he's going to upgrade it any amount of times. I'm assuming he's going to do it twice on the upgrade. That's That would be my guess. Cold War Gaming. He needs the mag part. Yeah, that's true. He does need the mag part. The mangler piece. The dartboard step is so annoying, but he was able to do it really well. This mag part is super easy. It's just luck, unfortunately. I do think, though, that the trial probably is faster to do. Please be the one. No, nope, he didn't get the right mimic there. And he got it. Nice. One, two, six, zero. He doesn't even need to remember those those number codes, but it's all right. Ray K pilled would be peak, but the dartboard. Yeah, I mean, there's been an easy way to f decode the dartboard, but I agree. The dartboard step, I don't know what to me, just makes no that. sense. It has nothing to do with the Ray K. Should have not done it's it just an arbitrary step to add arbitrary steps, basically. Well, and that's the other thing they have to do on this Easter egg. Right they have to do the whole Easter egg before the first order wave round. Because if you wait until an order wave, it's Crazy. just going to take you so long. You can't, I don't think you can do a lot of Easter egg steps during the order wave. Right? I'm a Firebase Z lover. Yes. Let's go, man. Very rare. Wow, he got the part there from the Mangler. Sheesh. Yeah, because this is, unless you do, get to like round 15. This is the first area, I think, where you get a Mangler. Pretty crazy, man. Wow. You did not see that. Or does Poo Poo, though? I agree. I wish this boss fight was a little bit better. I, like, I don't think the Orda was good enough for this map to be a boss fight. It should have been something more... Like an Apothecan Orda. Maybe like a mutated version of an Orda. I think it should have been something related to an Orda. But just not... You see Ordas already in the map. Why would it? Why would that also be the final boss fight? You know? It should have been like some sort of mutated version of it. I think that would have been really cool. Was it just me who enjoyed Outbreak and Cold War? That had me entertained? I mean, listen, man. I don't think Cold War is bad. I just don't ever go back and play it. And so now, bro is literally just about to pick up all of the canister areas from each of the, uh, uh, each of the power generator spots that in Firebase awesome. Z. What was the demon map called that I played earlier? The Lord of the Rings map that was called Moria. Absolutely insane map. If you guys have not played that, that is absolutely what a map that is, bro. 
I'm only going back to the outbreak for the round 100. Me too, man. I honestly, chat, one in chat, if you guys want me to try and see if I get the round 100 on outbreak, I'm genuinely going to try and see if I can. I want to beat outbreak so I can prove to the outbreak haters that I'm not an outbreak hater, even though I, I absolutely am. <laughs> I am a 100% outbreak hater. Yeah, that was the right crystal. You can tell just because it has that like white sheen to it. I didn't even know round 100 existed on it. It does. It's just like, it's Next it's an interesting round defense. 100. It's very much so oh, just way. like grab the right weapons and hope you don't run out of points. I That's my biggest issue with Cold War. Just getting points on this game feels like you're pulling teeth out, bro. It is not a fun experience. Like, it's all luck-based, too, because if you get the ray gun, then you're set, bro. You know? He's still spawning. Also, yeah, it's also so interesting how the Super Easter Egg literally made the runs so much faster because the purple it's rarity not. guns are just go. so much... Just so much more powerful than what you spawned in with earlier. Okay. No! He missed the Ether Shroud! No! He almost had it! I mean, he's all right. He's going to get the Ray K here. He's going to build it. Yep. Dunzo. He got it. Nice, Sue. There's his Ray K. I think he's going to double pap this thing. That's my guess. He double paps this here. Fuck off. Bro literally grabbed him. What the heck, G? I'm an IW and all BO1 to 4 player. Never played Cold War. How different from these games? It's quite different from all Black Ops games. It really is. It's more like Warzone based. Like you can tell just by like oh, the mechanics. I would say if you liked BO4, you'll like Cold War. It's just like, I would say it's simplified BO4. Fuck that would be like the off. best way I could describe it. I'm gonna fucking triple tap this thing. There we go. So now he's got all the things from the generators. He's gotten all the other canisters as well. He got the one where you need to dig, the lockdown. And miss that ether shroud as well. Bruh, I feel you. The Firebase Z Gaming. And there you go. Swap to ring here. Yeah, get the cutscene. Who's excited for Samantha Maxis outside of the portal? I cried during this cutscene. One in chat if you did too. I cried when Samantha Maxis came out of the portal, bro. No, a down. He's like, though. He's like, he doesn't even need to worry. This boss fight's so easy, you don't even need to worry. He's I. He is totally all right. Actually, he's not even need to worry. As long as he just paps, he should be totally fine. This boss fight is so easy. Yeah, like on some maps, that down would have been pivotal. But like, because it, it's Cold War or because it's Firebase Z, who cares? The boss fight is the Orda. Literally, who cares? Uh, that's one thing I will say, though. The Cold War bosses, Oof. other than, like, the Outbreak boss, are so much more easier than the one in, um, uh, the ones in BO4. Interestingly, it gets an Artillery Strike. Does he use that for the, uh, Easter Egg boss fight? I think he does, actually. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, he's gonna go back now and pop Ray K, I'm assuming. Only green. Oh, he's getting rid of it! He got rid of the Ray K! Oh, no, he still got it. He still got it. Wait, he's popping the Gallo for boss fight? What? Deadshot stamp. Bro, this is an insane run. What the heck? What map is fire close to comparison? So I have to somewhat of idea how it plays out. Chat, what map does Firebase Z kind of play like? I don't really think there's a comparison to this map, to be quite honest. It is its own thing in a lot of ways. Um, like a flat die rise, I guess. I would also say this map has a similarity to Ascension in a lot of ways. Like, instead of landers, you're like jump, you're using the jumpers, like the DE jumpers around the map too. Um... Wait, so he's going to use the artillery in here. 3 minutes, 37 seconds from right now. Yeah, he can get this. Bro, the boss fight's going to be like 20 seconds. He easily has this in the bag, man. To, to be ahead. Who uses the jumpers? That's the thing. I think 
There's zombie maps that have bad fast travel. This is one of them. Zetsubo no Shima also is another so one. Fast. Nobody uses the fast travel in those maps apart from the Easter egg steps. That's the only reason you ever use the water fence, pipe and, I got so and the zip line in Zetsubo. 110%. Like, I'm actually so lucky. You really think this won't work? At best, you'll burn I shouldn't be playing right now. Yeah, so now he's just basically waiting for a lot of dialogue to get through. And once the dialogue's done, he hit that star point, and literally, it's just going to be it. You can not skip this cutscene, right? Seconds. Oh, no, you can't. Guys, do you think I'll be ahead at the end of this? I cried when the Samantha Maxis came out of the portal in Firebase Z, boys. What can I say? Firebase Z makes me think of the BO1 MP map array. Yeah, that's very true, though, to be honest. That's true. But I will say, you guys are so right. I never used the jumpers in Firebase Z. I feel like they were just not placed well. I would never do it as well. Thank you, my man, Null, for the raid. Appreciate you. Transit fast travel, you turn around, you are lost. I'm going to be honest. I think transit fast travel had more of a use than Firebase Z. The fast travel in this map was like... What was the point? Especially the free jumper EE on this map. Oh my gosh, yeah. One of the most complicated side easter eggs ever for a mechanic that you will literally never use. I don't even know, man. Red Scarf, Monty Cannon. Monty's coming back. Call of Duty minutes. Black Ops 2024. Yes. Confirmed. Bro, is he ahead on his split this much? A, a minute, minute and a half right minutes. here? Really nice. I think he's going to I think he's going to hit a minute on here, bro. Bro, I cannot believe he papped his Gallo for this boss fight. I want to see how bad this is going to be. How fast is he going to do this? Oh, so he spawned the artillery strike on the Orda. I didn't realize that. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Chat, it's done. A boss fight, by the way. Oh my gosh. That is the saddest excuse I've ever seen for a boss fight in my whole life. Like, what was that? <laughs> that was the saddest thing I've ever seen for a boss fight in my whole life, bro. That is so funny. Let's go. Oh my gosh. It's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Wow, we got Molotov. That's huge. That's in actually spawn? really big in what the spawn. What have I done to you, game, to tickle you so nicely? So he got a whole minute Robotic. twelve faster, be just because of that boss fight, bro. Right now. So now we're on Mauer. This map's probably the best of Cold War, and he's running the M16, another long range map. To be honest, these spawns are really interesting. The way he's going through them. Usually people run towards the turned area here, but bro is hitting some mad interesting spawn locations here. I've really been impressed with the way he's spawn manipulating on this map and also Firebase. That was really, really cool. This, not this map specifically, probably. Oh my god. But, uh... He's also gonna get some luck in terms... Yeah, he's also gonna get some luck in terms of where this his... Um... This could Where his canister well locations WR. are gonna be. With a Molotov? Okay, never mind, yeah. This, the super, He's hitting WR. He already knew it right at the beginning of Mauer. That's uh, crazy, this bro. This map, maybe WR. I have to play really well if I want a WR on this. Which I might Mauer, I think, is probably the hardest egg of the so four. I'm nervous There's a now. lot more things you have to keep track of. I have almost perfect hands. And I think the hardest yeah, part about Mauer is upgrading Klaus fast enough. Because the there, there is RNG for this map. Skin me alive um, after this. Oh, my God. Bro, look at this spawn manipulation he's doing here. What the heck? This is bizarre. I've never seen this type of gameplay here. This is so cool. Ronald, wow, so he's here, right up at the edge. Two. Bro, is he asking for Ronald Reagan, bro? Nah, man. He could get it on Forsaken, but I don't think he'd need it. I don't even think you need the ray gun on Mauer, man. The Cerberus oh, is so OP. Oh, Bro, yeah, his last canister was at Jug, gold split on screen, which man. ain't that bad. The mine is 24 minutes. That is not accurate. Yeah, my man messed up his splits, but it's Ite. He fixed it. He's Ite, though. 
Wow, Ether Shroud done already within the first, like, minute of this map? That's kind of crazy. What the heck? He's already done with Ether Shroud. He's on a ring. I would not have expected that. There has to be something more with Ether Shroud with the canisters for sure. What is he going to use ring for? I thought I was going to have perfect He's going to have to switch, swap back to Ether Shroud again. So... When? You and this fifth place still speak the all the time, time man. Well? Pat's a legend, bro. Pat and I started a bunch of YouTube channels, and Pat's killing it, man. He's got a Pokemon channel he's doing well on. He's got a Minecraft channel he's doing well on. Brother's absolutely having a grand time. And it's funny, because like he's doing all these different games, and I'm still on COD Zombies. But I enjoy COD Zombies, man. I'm, 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 I'm absolutely enjoying COD Zombies, man. What about Noah? Yeah, I've been talking to Noah um, at super. the... At Matt's <laughs> wedding and stuff, so it was pretty cool. I might actually be going on another cruise with them later next year. Uh, like in April sometime, so that would be really cool if that ends up happening. I also, thank God, somebody in chat re reminded me of that. I have to actually book that. <laughs> Frick. What day is it? Oh, I got to book that in like two days. Oh, geez, I ain't got a lot of time. I ain't got a lot of time, G. Yeah, no. Kind of really enjoyed the round 100 on this map. One shot. Chat, what was your favorite Cold War round 100? That's what I was like. Watch how fast that's what this I was round wondering. Goes by. Bye bye round Molotov. D Machina. Yeah, D Machine was lit. Yeah, no, I know. I think Noah, Noah's got a new girl now. So, I mean, like, I don't know. It'd be what it'd be. But I wonder if he's ever going to do a video with her. I'm curious. Because he posted her, I think, on his Instagram. So. It's interesting. Heard anything from Milo or JC really lately? I saw Milo at the, um, bro is running toxic growth. What? What is this? This is so bizarre. I saw Milo at the, uh, Warzone live event that COD hosted or something. Like some big tournament for Warzone. Him and, uh, John, I saw Mr. Dalek J Day. So pretty crazy. Are you still going to try MW3? I don't know. I'm not going to buy the game on launch. I'm not going to be around also for when it's shown on COD Next on October 5th. Bro downed himself with C4? I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter because he's playing Cold War. So he's able to just pick himself up. Getting a little bit unlucky on the satellite this year. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm going to watch people play MW3. If there's anything that I see is worth it on the game, I'll pick it up. But... Low key chat. I'm probably gonna wait a good week to see go how people enjoy the game. If they don't like it, then I ain't gonna buy it. You know, is Kizaru getting backed up by Luffy? Nah, Luffy solos. Luffy diffs, bro. He took out Kaido. What is Kizaru, bro? Come on now. What is a light beam when you're actual Toon Force? Bro got Shatter Blast. Yeah. Did he actually get it from a drop? Wait, what? I don't have faith anymore in this run because I went down there. No. No, don't say. I hate when speedrunners say that, bro. Wait, doesn't he need turned? Why does he have Shatter Blast? I'm so confused. So yeah, this is slow now because of my down. See that One Piece season two is getting live action. Yeah, bro, I'm so hyped for that. Oh, he does have turned. Okay, I just didn't see it on his other gun. I was like, bro's got Shatter Blast. You sure you got the right upgrade for this? Monkey Bomb's a great thing to have for this step. For the monkey bomb. I'm curious what when he's going to use Toxic Growth. I would have never thought this would have been used in a World Record speedrun. I know it's a really good upgrade for Outbreak Round 100. Uh, I've seen like the speedruns for Outbreak using it. Um, but I've never actually seen it used in Mauer of all maps, especially. Ooh, old I'm Round 100 spot. Yep. Brain rot. Why am I yep. not even close? Uh-oh. Yeah, he's not close to getting that Might second toxic to growth. No. Don't reset, streamer. Yeah, actually. He didn't reset. No, he's going to get huge upgrades here from the Krasny. No? Wow, that was not as big as I thought. Oh, my goodness. He's so close. Yeah, here's the thing. He needs to get Klaus going in here. 
I don't know I how he's going to get Klaus fully upgraded. I have no choice. But I, have I, I remember watching Freckleston, I think, do this Mauer world record before and getting Klaus I upgraded. Lose, I lose time, but that's fine. And yeah, it's just so break. it's just so difficult, to be honest. Yeah, he could have died right then and there. Full dead, full game over right there. If go down, it's over. So yeah. No, if he goes down one more happen. time, it's full game over. He has no QR, no self-med. Or no self map. What am I saying? Is BL3 no self revive kit? Are you more of a Modern Warfare type of guy or Black Ops? I'm a Black Ops guy, 100. percent The only Modern Warfare game I've really loved was the OG MW2. Um, all these new Modern Warfare, like I think, chat personally, I think Modern Warfare 2019 is a garbage game. I think this last MW2 game sucks too. I think it's just, I don't like these new modern games. I mean. The only thing I'd be interested in this new MW3 is because I liked OG MW2 and this game is OG MW2. Uh, but yeah, I personally don't like Infinity Ward oh. games. The only Infinity Ward game I've ever liked, to be honest, outside of MW2 was Infinite Warfare for IW Zombies. And that was all because of Lee Ross. He cooked on that mode, bro. So now bro's getting his, uh, his safe locker codes. I don't think he's going to be able to upgrade Klaus 27, here. 27. Klaus has to get like 25 elims to get upgraded. Yeah, he literally just needs to sit here and let Klaus just get all the elims. He's not going to get a single elim here. I'm so curious. What is Toxic Growth going to be used for for this run? Yeah, kill the zombies, not it the safe. must be used for when he's using the safe. That's my guess. Oh. Yeah, the, di the Disciple kind of sucks here because the Disciple buffs the zombies. And that's kind of like the bad thing. Something 727. Is he actually going to hit this upgrade? No way. Oh, he's using the toxic growth. Oh, he's using it for Klaus when he hits the safe. That's actually genius. Wow, that's genius. That is so smart. Because, yeah, those toxic growth zombies will never get to Klaus. And he needs to take no damage. Wow, that is genius. I never thought of that, bro. Wow. That is so beautiful. What an incredibly well thought out strat. And this would not have been a thing when Mauer or Toten released. Because Toxic them Growth them. came out after in a season update, I believe. I from them, so I have to go Seriously the well done. Them. Wow. And so now he's going to get the Klaus upgrade. And he's probably going to be able to get a lot of the Klaus steps done. He got the laser oh, variant right off the hop. Bro, yeah, this is easy winnable. Hands. Game time on duping cans. Easy winnable, bro. That's what I just gotta keep remembering. Yeah, he's gonna get this Klaus uh, head part too. Yeah, Klaus just needs to go away now as well. Uh, Cause he has to rebuild the part onto Klaus. Would you ever go back to make top 10s like you used to? Yeah, I'm just, I kind of want to wait for your COD 2024 to come out so then I can make them differently. But I don't know, maybe I should go just back and make them right now. Close. Not totally sure. I didn't end up doing that. Bro, the range is insane on this thing. Look so, at that. What the heck? That's a range right there. Wow. I did not expect the range to be that far on the laser no, close. variant. Come here. Don't jump over, man. Ugh. Is he actually going to be able to upgrade Klaus while he's still active in the map? There's no way. Speed call is stamina up with Jug. Okay, no, I was about to say, there's no shot. Yeah, so Klaus is now gone. He's going to need to literally be able to now get the other parts for the helmet for Klaus. But I'm shocked he got the Elims part for Klaus done. That was really impressive. I did not expect him to do that. I usually struggle with that when I play this Easter egg. Wonder Weapon was amazing on this map. Honestly, chat, I always say Cerberus and the Chrysalax actually feel like BO1 Wonder Weapons. They're really amazing, man. So yeah, once the dialogue's done, he's going to be able to pick up all the stuff here, then do the canister step real quick, and then do the uranium, and then he's practically on a boss fight, right? Would you ever do a round 100 on BO3 again? I was thinking of not even just doing a round 100, but a 255 on Rev one of these days. It just, it's going to be a 40-hour run, so it's going to, your boy's going to be sweating. I'm probably for sure going to do that after I come back from my trip. Huge canister spot. That is such an easy placement there. Oh, too bad he doesn't have Ether Shroud here. That would have been nice. So, yeah, there's his other Brent. service part. He's going to need to now get the last part with the radios. 
And he also has a part of Jug here, which is, like, perfect. Thank you. Honestly, Thank you. he was saying that this was a bad idea, but he's going to get it done easy mode here. Get the Tempest. No. Get your Aether Shroud. Oh, yeah, he's saving his Aether Shrouds for when he oh, picks yeah. up the canisters and has to bring them back. Really well done, though, man. Round 255, Zetsubo? Nah, man. Round... Round 255, Zetsville is actually difficult because if you don't have <laughs> the skull bad, to take out a Thrasher, you instantly lose. Like, you cannot take out the Thrashers with any weapon on the map. That is so backwards in terms of game design, man. So backwards. Like, I don't even know why they would even freaking support that. It's so bizarre to me. Where I couldn't shoot him if I was locked wow, up. and he was even doing that Tempest trains are while escorting this one, bro. What the heck? That is insane. Round 10k on Shinonuma. Heck no, baby. My name ain't Krups, baby. Insta's lovely. Hit that out the park. W. Yeah, now he's got his last, e last Ether Shroud for his last canister. He did that perfectly, that. man. He did not have to hit that canister with the Ether Shroud there, so he saved it for this one, too. Really well done, man. Wow, that was really good. What about GK Round 100? I've done GK Round 100. I've done GK Round 100 Hardcore, too, where it's like you play with a Rampage Inducer mod. mod. I've done it all, man. Oh, he did not, he did not use his Ether Shroud. Maybe he's saving it. Maybe he's... Oh, he's probably saving it for the uranium step. Yeah, 100%. That's what he's saving it for. Yeah, the the burst effect on that uranium is so... Pe oh, he's using one right now. He's using it. If I get a double here... Mm. Bro, oh, when he gets a double point. Oh, yeah. He's using it to go and craft the uh, Klaus helmet. If I get a nuke here. Or... Man's going to turn into the dancing double. queen. Yeah, so next step now is he needs to get Klaus to um, stop the train. And this is going to be easy. He got his double points, too. Wow. That's crazy. Big double points. Yeah, so he needs this, I think, just to pap his Cerberus twice. You do need to pap your Cerberus twice here to make it the best. Uh, and yeah, he's going to get this. Wow, that was a perfect... Perfect Klaus Grun. And he got the key card too and the canister in like a one fell swoop of just running in and out of the subway. Yep. And now he's spawning in the uh, HVT, the high value target. Huge. Yeah, he's going to be able to double pop the servers easy here, bro. He's got 16k in the bank. It's honestly crazy, chat, because like you don't even need Jug in a lot of these Easter egg speedruns. It's interesting that he's running Jug's stamina up speed cola i would say it's better to run uh stamina up speed cola's quick revive because quick revive helps you regen health faster plus if you down you can get picked up by just eliminating a zombie while in it he's got klaus here too he's still calling up which is interesting away. thank you okay he's getting klaus out of the way interesting so yeah he's now got his ether shrouds here too okay what the heck is it building itself or how did he do this? Why did he why did he let it go there for a sec? That must be some sort of skip I'm not familiar with. I have no idea what he was trying to do. But unfortunately, now I'm gonna get fucked. Oh, he's building both of them at the same time. I see. That's an interesting step. Wow. Yeah, you gotta be really careful though, because when you don't have QR, it takes forever to regen health. Wow. And yeah, when you're holding the uranium, you don't regen health at all. And you're losing two health at the same time. It's so cool how you can do all the zombie Easter eggs on a Steam Deck. Yeah, bro. I mean, Steam Deck is literally, in my opinion, probably the best portable console. I would say. It's definitely better than Switch. Definitely more powerful than Switch, too. What was the last time you spoke to Crispy Concords? Literally last week, man. We talk on Instagram a lot. He's a G, man. He was saying that the best choice he ever made was to stop posting COD content, and he loves doing IRL content. And so I was thinking, like, man, maybe I might follow the same with him one day, especially if COD 2024 flops or if, like, GTA 6 isn't fully out for 2025. Could be a good idea. But I personally think, wow, that was an insane Ether Shroud. All, like, dude, he dropped, like, three floors with that one. 
I personally think that GTA 5 is probably going to get announced either in 2024 or 2025. Scary. Like, there's so much being leaked about it. I think 100% we get something. Bro, these Ether Shrouds are nasty. The jumps he's able to hit here is crazy. What the heck? Please don't ever leave the zombies content. We all miss that, especially coming from you. Yeah, no, I don't know, man. It's interesting. Like, Crispy said it was one of the best things he ever did. And I was like, man, like, I love doing IRL content too, though, man. But I don't know. I'm not like, I'm not really like that Jadeon type of IRL content creator anymore. I feel like I just kind of like taking a chill. And I don't know. I like doing gaming. I feel like gaming is always just so much more fun, you know? But yeah, he's duping the radiation. Oh, I see. I think it's I think it's something to do with like using the crafting table and then coming back off of it. That's what he's doing. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, what the heck? That's crazy. Functional video game, by the way. Wow. I just build it normally. So yeah, that must be some sort of speedrunner tech. I have not seen that before, to be quite honest. That's really cool. Seriously crazy, bro. Got my ring on the last zombie. We love your IRL stream, especially when you're with the Boogie Boys. Yeah, man. It's been a minute since I've been with all of them, bro. But yeah, here you go. He's got his last uranium rock ready to go. He's not going to eat their shroud this because he needs the ring of fire here for the Valentina the boss fight. Pap, no. Yeah, he needs to get rid of this to Pap. Unfortunately, he had that on there. That's the one thing that kind of sucks with the Cerberus. If you have a garbage variant, you have to shoot all the ammo out of it to get it off. That is kind of sucky. Especially when you have, like, the shotgun version. My goodness, that one's caca. Okay. IRL stream would be lit. Okay, boys, he's that boss. He's hitting it. He's ready to go. Look at this man go. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Bro, the Valentina boss fight also has gotten some massive speed improvements here. Final phase is, phase like, is a minute it is so minutes, crazy to so. see this, bro. By the way, love from South Africa. Hey, I want to come there sometime, man. I've always wanted to go to, like, Mozambique or whatnot. Like, it would have been so sick to go there, bro. Fuck up that bad. As long as I don't spend six minutes in the boss fight. Nah, man, he can do this. Okay. He's, his splits are really well done, man. I'm really impressed with his splits right now. Ask. The dawn of the new Reich. Bro, what is this, the World War II plot? This this ring of fire spot is really interesting. It's a perfect spot because it's far away from all the zombies that are running. The zombies towards him will be taken out. He's already done first step. And now he just needs to refill up the, uh, the ring of fire here. Insane, bro. Wow. He's got the C4 down. Yeah, the, the, this Valentina boss fight has had some massive speed improvements. You can just tell. He's popping his ring literally even a little too early, but he's in it perfectly. The, the fact that ring blocks projectiles is what makes this boss fight so dumb easy too. Just so dumb easy, man. Like, it is just ridiculous. Like, I know Valentina even has an effect where she can regen health. But, like, what's even the point, bro? You're just able to just block all of her attacks, pretty much. Oh, interesting. He's up on the truck here for this phase. Yeah, too bad he got that. Oh, interesting route that he's doing. He's just going back and forth. Wow, he was able actually to avoid those crystals really easily like that. Wow, he did third phase that fast. That is insane, bro. Oh, no, he's not done. But he, he did almost half of it right then and there. Got another crystal phase. But, dude, that is the interesting way to just dodge the crystals. Just go back and forth. Wow. Yeah, he does need some ammo. Oh, yeah, good thing he doesn't let any health regen right there go. Honestly, though, that's a good phase to get, though, because it helps him regen his Ring of Fire for Phase 4 of the boss fight, and then Phase 5 is going to absolutely wave clear, bro. Phase. Valentina, best core boss fight? Nah, yeah, I think it's a Legion boss fight in Outbreak, to be honest. I genuinely do think it's the Legion boss. 
He can buy ammo as well. Is he just gonna... I'm just gonna play it safe. I was about to say, he could have done a quick revive, like, down skip there. But no, I think he did the right call. He did the right call on that one, to be honest. I think oh, just going oh. down and, like, ways, lose it. I can't speak. Going down and just not avoiding the, the missile attack, the missile pierce armor thing was just phenomenal. That was, that was a really smart play. So yeah, phase four is going to be done easy here. Bro is so crazy for avoiding this, bro. Look at the movement. Making this boss fight look like a piece of cake. There it is. Phase four done. And then the last fave he should be able to do as well. Gets a lot of ammo for this final Whew. phase too. Sheesh. Yeah, brother was just exhausted after that. He hit a C4? Whoa, that's a skip I've never seen. So he planted his C4 so he could teleport into the boss. What? It like damaged the boss fight so he, it yeah, teleported just, him in? I just got full armor, so I'm okay. I've okay. never seen that. Bro, what? That is insane. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is genuinely one of the coolest things I've ever seen on this map. That's an insane skip. What the heck? Wow. Okay. So there it is. Mauer's almost done now. He literally just needs to do the Klaus Escort step. That's the last step. And uh, yeah, Forsaken. Bro, the Forsaken time is literally going to be under 27 minutes. That is disgustingly fast. I'm excited to see Forsaken because he's used the M16 for a majority of his runs here. The Gallo was for D-Machine only. I think maybe he goes back to Gallo for uh, Forsaken though. Not totally sure. Bro's got a three minute ahead of his uh, of his split here. But do keep in mind there is going to be a lot of cutscenes though. To get to the point where Klaus ends. Like this part just takes forever. This might literally take a whole minute plus here. So he's, probably, he's still probably a minute ahead of his splits though which is insane. The turn zombie is really good here, too. He's got a C4. Yeah, as long as Klaus just stays alive. I don't think Klaus can slow down during this step. I just think that he just needs to have a clear path in front of him. Yeah. He's got the mangler there, too. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, the service is just dummy OP, bro. I think he's actually gotten two minutes ahead of his split. And, bro, remember when he said, like, right at the beginning that he was too slow? Oh, fuck. Wow. Really well done, bro. Yeah, he did a really good run on Mauer. And that definitely saved his run here. <laughs> two minutes Ooh, ahead of his split. Lead. Sheesh. That is uh, crazy. Fire. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're one map away. Forsaken time. Let's go. He is using M. Wait, was he using Gallo? Here we go. He's back to Gallo. Hey, I was right, bro. Let's go. That's sick. The Gallo is back. So I was right. Gallo for D Machine and Forsaken. The when I have enough points. He's going to buy the Diamati, really. The foreskin gameplay is here. He's back. And this is the final map for the Super Egg. Turn this thing on. Um, Turn this thing on. It's interesting because the super egg does not include going into outbreak and literally activating the thing, the the um, the obelisk, because I mean you can only do it once. Off the fancy. Intro. Why is he grabbing the Diamati? Actually, like how long is he also gonna stay in this spot here for? That's a real question. Can't wait to collect 50 notes of lore and number 3 DMZ zombies mode. And chat, here's the other thing. We know it's confirmed that DMZ zombies, MW3, oh. is canon. It's canon to Dark Ether lore. Which, like, role. I kind of hate that because Vanguard is also canon to Dark Ether lore. And it's just like, bruh moment, dude. That is a certified bruh moment. Plenty of salvage. So I just hope that, like... I don't know. Hopefully the lore at least is somewhat all right. Got a point here too. Yeah, he's not going to get the salvage, bro. Here's his Diamati going in though. 
I'm no. so interested why he'd grab yeah, this, this though. This game's gonna suck. So interested. Oh, yeah. What? How is it canon? Because they said so. That's what it says on Charlie Intel. That's what it says on the official Call of Duty. Dark Ether is canon on MW3 DMZ Zombies. Because they it's said so. Fucking... We love oh. that, brother. So there's the C4 down. Big C4. Doesn't even want to grab that nuke. Ooh, that max is going to be nice, though. Refill the clip of the gallo. Helps big time when you don't have speed call or anything. <laughs> Lors Richtofen sent the team to get a Bubby Burger, pretty much. Yeah, that's Forsaken here. Took me... Bro, the skips on the mantling are the coolest part of Cold War, though. I will say, this map has good mantling as well as D-Machine. These are the two best maps, I would say, for mantling. Remember Lex Vanguard made Chaos Cannon? I will never accept it, though, because you know that was all a cop-out, man. So now my boy is grabbing all the parts he needs to get to the portal. Bro, he's going to get like a 1 minute 28 time here, I think. I think he easily gets like a 1 minute 28 time. Dark Ether lore isn't that great to begin with. Uh, don't say that on Twitter. <laughs> don't say that on Twitter or you will be crucified like how I was, bro. Every Dark Ether lore stan lives on Twitter.com. I'm telling you, man. Watch, I'll prove it. I literally said that on Twitter, and I was like, the Dark Ether lore is just ways for them to put bundles into zombies, and everybody's like, no, it's not. Vix WR is and I'm like, 15, as you can see on the yeah, it is, bro. And I was like, yeah, it is, my G. It pretty much is. And you know it's only going to get worse. Okay, you give me the double. Somebody give me the double. Please. No. Bro, what did you guys think of the Abomination on Forsaken? I personally, listen, I hate this thing in Outbreak. The Abomination in Outbreak is horrid. That thing never dies. You can have a fully upgraded weapon. Bro does not ever die. I don't think it was bad on Forsaken, but on Outbreak, gosh, it was horrid. Horrid, bro. Killed more during the double, but... Let me read the 500 intel and get back to you. Yep, pretty much it. Why is it that you can only skip cutscenes on this map in particular? That's so bizarre. It took a minute 50 off the mower time. That's so, so weird. Because it's like on Firebase Z, you I count the cutscene time, but not on Firebase Z. Very interesting. Dark Ether lore could have been good if they made the main villain the Doc Monty in Shadow Man Fusion. I, just have a good I wonder if they actually are going to do that with COD 2024. Because, like, listen, I thought they were going to reveal that Rick Toffin was the director after, like, D-Machine, bro. Like, I didn't think that that was that big of a reveal for it to wait all the way to the end of Forsaken. You know what I mean? Is COD Zombies a roguelike? I feel like it could have easily innovated to being an amazing roguelike. Roguelike. Like, could you imagine, like, Hades or, like, The Binding of Isaac where it's, like, there's, like, multiple items? Zombies could have literally been that, bro. RCXD Easter egg steps, W Gaming. Wow, he did that oh. mid round. Wow, that was like pristine that control. That was really well done. My bro hit the easy control on that. Can you explain what the children in the house in BO3 even mean? It just means they're like innocent souls, pretty much. It was the idea for them to collect the utopia that they've always wanted to build. That's why at the end of Rev, they have the blood vials and Monty's like, what to do, what to do. Because they have these blood vials the from right, so different dimensions, him, and that messes up the timeline, right? It's like an anomaly in the plot, no, and you I can't have an anomaly in the plot. That. that was the whole point of that storyline. A lot of people didn't get that, but that was the whole thing. To me, I'll get crucified for this, but BO3 story was alright. I'll get crucified for saying this. I think gaming stories in general, most of them are just not that great. I was not a huge fan of yeah, I agree I was not a big fan of like the zombie storyline as a whole Because I personally think you can't really make a good enough story on the zombie storyline personally like I Think like one of my favorite stories ever for example is one piece and like you have Just to cool. dedicate So much time into world building zombies could do that, but I just don't know if it could ever be Just alone right now. I don't know 
I think honestly though, Taking chat, ruin WR like giving up premise, giving up premise and ultimus was one of the Obviously, worst things they could have ever done. They built up these characters for years and then literally did nothing with them. I think that was one of the dumbest mistakes they could have ever done. That is what makes One Piece so good, in my opinion. You build up these protagonists for years and you literally just learn to love them. I just think, like, when you take out your protagonist, you're kind of just like. I don't know. Like, people have left zombies simply because Primus and Ultimus will never come back. And I honestly, I get that. You know? I've never been able to get into the story of any game. I feel that. I feel on a whole other level, bro. I like there's very few video games I find that I'm more immersed into the story than like a movie or a TV show. Xbox 360 era was the last era of gaming with actual storytelling devs. I agree with that too. I agree with that. Like chat, for example, Elden Ring. Love that game. What is going on in that game? I have literally no idea. I've literally watched a lore video and I still don't know what the frick is going on with that. Same thing with zombies. I've seen countless lore videos going on in zombies. Run, I run. still don't know what on earth is happening in this video game. Like, I have a relative idea, but it also just doesn't really, like, connect. GTA 5 story was goaded. No, I agree. Love that story. That, that was a good story game, man. There's a lot of, like, uh, there are games like that where I think, like, yeah, like, good story, you know? There are good story games. I, go I just haven't yeah. seen it from zombies, I just as a whole. And I don't know. I think don't people that forget. like Dark Ether, like, and they say Dark Ether is better than Ether. I think it's a massive cope. Bro, he's doing the Chrysalax through the free upgrade quest as well. If I didn't need wow, I'm super impressed. What about God of War games? Heard they're amazing. I've not played them. Another great story game. I like Spider-Man. Spider-Man 1 and 2. Come on. People say Spider-Man 1 was literally better than the the uh, uh, the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies. And I can honestly fully agree with that. Spider-Man 1 was an amazing story masterpiece, bro. I love the Chris Lax, man. This is easily one of the best Wonder Weapons they've ever made. I'll say it. Like, sure, this map is mid. But the Chris... Chris Lax carries this map so hard. It's I unreal. It until... okay, well... Spider-Man PS4 is goaded. No, I agree. Spider-Man PS4 is literally one of the greatest games I think I've played. I 100% of that game, bro. Insane. And it's so OP with the melee tier 5 upgrade. Yeah, because you heal whenever you... You knife with this thing. And it makes... It's 115 points a zombie. Like, this Wonder Weapon is insane, bro. So you have two choices. There are a lot of awesome story games, but to be honest, I wouldn't count Call of Zombies as a story game. I agree. It's not a story game. Any, this is what I think. Any game that doesn't tell you the story up front and doesn't publicize it is not a story game. I don't even think Call of Zombies is a story game because cutscenes don't really count. Cutscenes just sort of fill in the gaps, right? A story game is like it literally shows you an arc or a narrative from beginning to end, right? I say it's mostly just an arcade game. I agree with that. Have you ever considered playing COD campaigns on stream? Not a big COD campaign guy. I did play MW2 on stream though, the MW2 Ultra, campaign. I have lots of zombies left. If I ever get MW3, I might play that on, on stream. We'll see. We will see, man. Yeah, I have no idea how you're gonna do that either peaceful man. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Chat, any one of chat you're buying Spider-Man 2 here. I am gonna be buying Spider-Man 2 like instantaneously. I'm gonna be playing that game on stream, bro. I am so excited. Honestly, I need to play Miles Morales on stream. I have not beaten that game yet. I might literally just start that game from the beginning. Because I literally don't even remember how to play that game. It was a double so. mama. Bro got the Ronald Ray gun. I knew he was going to do it, bro. How did I know he's going to do it? Thing is, though, this thing doesn't guarantee you a Ray gun, though, does it? I think I think it's like a 1 in 4 chance that you get a Ray gun. Is Elden Ring a story game? It is, but it isn't. There is a story, but it's not really, like, shown to you. You know what I mean, chat? Like, it's, it's a, it is a story game, but it isn't, you know? Okay, my boy's literally on the escort step already, bro. 
He's literally so close to beating this, bro. He's probably going to get like a sub 1 hour 30 here. Sub 90 minute. Sub 90 minute Easter egg speedrun on Cold War Zombies. Ladies and gentlemen, that is absolutely egregious. I'm sorry. He just flew through this Cold War step. He did all the stone steps so fast on the abominations. He just went through. It's so unbelievably fast, man. A lot of hidden lore you need to search out in Elden Ring. Yeah, I agree. It's one of those games. It's like a COD Zombies game. You think Customs is ahead of main Zombies mode now? I think you're going to see some insane releases coming out at the end of this year from Vavictus and the next year with all the Chronicles 2 maps. Like, people are not ready. Let me tell you, boys. People are not ready. Chronicles 2 is going to come by, like, out of nowhere for custom maps. So, yeah. I know I'm streaming late if somebody just said good morning, streamer. Thank you for the tier one, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is almost midnight here. So, once I do finish this, I probably will wrap it up head to bed. But seriously, though, this run has been absolutely impeccable. Seriously, like, I've not seen any... The only problem I thought was kind of his Firebase Z run. You missed a couple Ether Shrouds. But... Outside of that, man, he had some really good luck. Couple of hiccups here and there, but bro, like, this is world record for a reason. Don't know how to play this he properly. absolutely don't nailed D Machine and Mauer, though. I don't think he made a single error on those two maps. Nailed those two maps all the way. I missed the races around 100 with no and chop. I think the reason we stopped those is mainly just because it's like it's so difficult to do a lot of around 100s because they're just so long. Asking someone to be like, yo, can you sit here for eight hours straight? <laughs> Going for around 100 is just, is whack. And also, like, on Cold War, it's not that fun either. Because, like, D-Machine luck is all just how fast you get the ray gun. Whoever gets the ray gun first wins, pretty much. So it's not really like a speed run, you know? I did classify 2P150. It took almost 20 hours. That is absolutely mind blowing, bro. That is insane. Mimic, let's go. Let's gas. I'm more hyped for war mode to return to MW3. Is that the mode from World War II? If that's returning, bro, that kind of makes me hyped. That was like the best mode from World War II. Where's she going? Of course, she's going over here. That is insane if that this mode is, is coming back, though. though. Whipping is the act of driving your car. What the? What is Krupp saying, bro? This man just came into my stream, posted a whole copy pass. So like, it's absolutely nothing, man. World of War, man. What can I tell you? You know, I should do a challenge where you get to 30 days to speed run the Easter egg. And whoever gets the best time wins. Bro, I want to do that on COD 2024 maps. Here. I feel like there's been too much innovation already on the current maps. And nobody wants to watch us do Vanguard or something like that. But, what am I reading, bro? Krups told me to read this whole thing. I'm going to do this during the Forsaken boss fight while he gets all the body parts. Chat, listen to me. I have a decoration. Whipping is the act of driving your car way too fast and whipping in and out of lanes, usually cutting off other cars and sometimes causing accidents. I don't even know how that's a sentence. There are two types of people that whip. Middle-aged men who can't get a date and punk kids who think that even though their Honda Civic has the engine and transmission of a lawnmower, it has the soul of a Lamborghini. Why is that so true, though? Every single kid that I see speeding is literally 16 years old in the most broken whip possible. Honda Civic from 2001, my G. It's so true. Yeah, Ronald, you missed it. I those, had kids, a of a, those kids I had a should not be allowed my, my online, bro. Jug. Absolutely should not be allowed online, man. Literally I don't know what to tell you. Like the perfect time, but you missed out on Sunday. Isn't it wild, chat, that that last cutscene oh, might no. be the four playable characters we get for COD 2024? I personally think here. that would kind of suck. I don't know. Yes! <laughs> Brother got him on that ring of fire, though. That's insane. I have gotten your reply, Peaceful. I appreciate I appreciate you. I'm going to probably react to them when I come back, though. I have... Chat, I made 22 videos for while I'm gone on Egypt. 11 E-Strike tutorial guides and 11 videos for my second channel. Ranging from a bunch of different videos. I have made so many freaking videos while for when I'm gone. It's going to be insane. 
Think we'll have four it's playable like voice characters in 2024? I know, 20, right? 14. I was on the grind, Let's go. bro. Absolutely Our legendary. Our 2014 with all of the cutscene. Maybe if you get down faster on this part, you get to the cutscene faster. I don't think that's the case, though. You Let's just kind of have to wait for this to take you out. He, oh, no. He, you don't actually have to die. Bro is just mealing all this. Oh, no. He just instantly died. Never mind. I was about to say, Let's he could have beat it. Minus wow. Three, three, three minutes split ahead. Get fucked, Bic. <laughs> Dude, DM saved me. Firebase, no. I lost. No, I was literally about to say, his best run was D-Machine and Mauer. Those were phenomenal runs. Overall, his so Firebase Z run had a little bit of hiccups, but... At the beginning because of my sheesh, that was an amazing super... Wow. Bad. Like a it's crazy to think that if you included the outbreak super in this, it'd probably be two hours. Which is really sad. And that's both of the Easter eggs, bro. I I could not believe that. Well, Easy. GG, my man well, Valley. Like Seriously, that was one of the coolest supers I've ever seen. That is, I think, the fastest super.